Hi, I'm Margaret from Sewing Machine Warehouse in Penrith, Australia and today I'm going to show you, for this lesson anyway, uh, how to do a blind hem. So this is the type of hem you see on trousers um, and skirts or even jackets uh, where you overlock or finish off your edge and turn your hem up to the prescribed amount. Um, for trousers or skirts, it's usually three and a half or four centimeters. If it's any bigger, yeah, you're likely to it'll look a little bit bulky. Um, and any smaller, and you can probably just do that with a sewing machine. But this is the type of hem you do where you don't see the stitches from the right side. Okay, so you you want an unhindered vision of your skirt or your trousers. So this is how you set it up. So you would zigzag, overlock, overcast, whatever finish that you like. Uh, I've used the overlocker. Okay, then you pin it up and place your pins perpendicular off to an angle because we need to be able to get them out if we have to. Alright, now the other thing is we need to set it up by turning that hem towards the right side of your garment, exposing the inside of your hem. Okay, so I'll do that again. So there's your hem. It's on the it's on, it's inside out. Your garment's inside out, and you flip the hem, tuck it underneath, just exposing about a little over half a centimeter, but not more than a centimeter. Okay. Now let's get the machine ready. Now these this. This is an assortment of blind hem feet that you might see with your sewing machine. So they're all different for different brands. So there's this one, which has an adjustable guide on there. This is quite good. You can actually buy this as an aftermarket product for other machines. Now this is something you might see on a FAF sewing machine. So this also has the adjustable guide, which is really handy. Okay, uh, this is the one that comes with the Juki. So a lot of the um, Janomis and Singers might have this type of uh, foot as well. So it's all about this little guide in here. All right, so I'm going to use this one. So place that one on your sewing machine. Hang on, It'd be handy if I had my glasses on. Okay, there we go. Now, the other thing you might want to do, so let's get these out of the way, is set your machine up with a free arm. So take your accessory tray off and move that to the side. Now, this is so you can rotate your cuff around the base of your machine. Okay, so insert your trouser leg or whatever it might be. Now the other thing is, I don't start right on the edge, uh, on the seam. I start a little way in, and usually to the back side of your garment. And the other thing is, I'm going to do a orange thread on this one, so you can actually see it. Obviously, matching your thread properly is uh, a good idea, because you don't want to see the stitches. So I'm going to lower that, and you're lining the folded edge so this being your folded edge, up with that guide. Alright. Now, we do have to find our blind hem stitch. And on this machine, it looks like this. So you'll have a half a zigzag, two or three stitches, then a zigzag, two or three stitches, and then it'll continue on that way. So that's it there. Now this actually tells you to put the D foot on, which is the foot that I have on. Alright, so a lot of machines indicate which foot to put on for your blind hem stitch. Okay. Now the other thing is you don't want it to back stitch because we need to actually um, uh, just get sewing because if you do a back stitch you will see it through the garment on the other side. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do is actually lower the needle and make sure that we're just picking up one or two threads from the folded edge there. 
and I think that's fine until I start going and then we'll see. Now the other thing you might want to do is lengthen your stitch so the frequency is not as much. So I'm going to actually lengthen it to about three. It comes up on two, so. Now, I'm noticing that it's actually picking up more than one or two threads there. Can you see that? All right, now I'm showing you what not what to look for and what not to do. So it's coming in and taking too much of a bite on the folded edge. What will happen there is you'll see quite a long stitch on the other side. Okay, now this is hard to hide. That's actually the worst, the first one. All right, so this might take a bit of practice till you understand what's going on but once you understand that this is what we're looking for you can hardly see your stitch there all right now i'll show you what to do if that's happening okay because you can't move your foot this one doesn't have a movable guide so on a machine like this you might have to go to the minus side and take off two millimeters now let's give it another try. Okay, that looks a little better. I'll we'll have another look. Yeah, that seems to be better. And just follow on like that. Make sure you sit square behind your machine because if you're leaning off to a, one of the sides, you're going to uh, go crooked inevitably. And keep going if you're happy with that. We can always unpick those other long stitches. Remember, it is much quicker than doing it by hand. So however slow you go, it's still quicker. Oh, that just showed one of my pins went through the plate. So I wasn't pulling it out. Okay, now where I started, if you feel you need to get rid of those stitches, you can simply do this. You just trim them, don't have to pull it out because you can go over that. Remember you're using a matching thread so you won't see them. I'll just take out a few of them. So that's what you can do and then afterwards you can just pull that out if you want to. Like that. Okay, so it's not hard to undo. I'll leave the rest in. And you just keep going on like that until you come to where you started. And because it's a blind hem you can actually just overlap it. And that's it. And then we can tie that off later. So I'll put my needle up, pull that out, and let's have a look. Now, if that was in navy, it would be better, obviously. So these little stitches here are perfect, okay? And you can press that and you won't see it. That'll just, um, the, the fabric will kind of swallow it up, okay? And to make sure that we did catch it, you can test it. So you can give it a bit of a tag, tug and it'll, um, you can see that it's secure. Okay, so take your pins out, take it to your iron and press that. Now remember, don't press the iron directly on your fabric because you'll create a shine. So always put a rajah cloth or something um, between your fabric and your iron you can usually buy a pressing cloth and that will prevent you from over pressing and that's how you do a blind hem okay so give that a go um, you've got no excuse now <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time happy sewing